What is up guys? This is how you fix any iDevice that's plugged into the computer that's not showing up in iTunes or my computer. It's still charging though, or it may or may not be charging. And this is only if you know your cable is not completely broken and it's always been working. Um, so what you're basically going to do is you're just going to click on the Windows Start button. You're just going to right click on Computer and you're going to click on Manage then you're going to click continue then you're going to double click on services and applications then double click on services then you are going to click on apple mobile device then click right click then drop down the properties and make sure it's on automatic here just regular automatic then apply okay and what you are going to do, you're just going to click stop the service. And when you stop the service, make sure your device is unplugged and make sure that iTunes is closed. And you're just going to plug your device back in. And you're, n you're not going to plug it back in yet. You're just going to click start the service. And now you're going to you're going to plug your device back in and open up iTunes and you're just going to give it a minute to load and there you go iPod right in the corner just give it a minute and it should be loaded and to prevent this from happening, what you should do is, before you take your device out, like never just rip it out of the computer. What you're going to do is, like every time you take it out, it's really healthy for the cable. You're just going to click on this eject button right here, then it will say it is okay for your device to be ejected. Then you're just going to take it out, just like a USB. That's, that's how it works. Be sure to check out my other videos on how to get paid apps for free and how to get free movies on any iDevice. And my, a new video is coming out on how to get on how to download movies onto your iPod and directly stream them to your TV completely for free.